So hi guys, so just I just really want to tell you guys please go down below and tell me if you would live in such a house. Just go down below and tell me what you think of the house. I'll really really appreciate your comments. Let's start off. I really really love the walls of this house. They are so smooth and actually you can't put any damage on them because they are so smooth. So when you look this other side from the doorway, you see those rough walls, you see the the lighting and of course that's the little little living room area and the bed the other side. So guys this is a bed sitter apartment tour. So I'll take you through these cushions. Each of them costs twenty thousand. Yes, just twenty thousand shillings. Then I have that small table that I happened to get from my mom <laughs> because at that time I hadn't bought a table yet. So I got that table from my mom. Thank you so much. Then just the other side we have some few cards to play with then we just have a few things you know yeah and that woolen carpet was bought around 200,000 so that other seat there is some seat we had a uh, long time used maybe at our homes then we just put it to our little house you know then that side I decided to put things that I don't usually use well preferably let's look at this wall so rough and actually if you're a tenant you won't be worried about damaging anyone's walls because it's rough and actually you can't put any damage to it so this house had a lot of mosquitoes man africa we're in africa <laughs> a beautiful africa so of course we needed that mosquito net then my doll i got it on my on my what kuchala what yeah then we have our wardrobe right there just enough to fit us Ooh, i don't know if i should show but Tough. that is it guys that's all i can show just for privacy but let's move on So let's move on to the other side. You'll see a kitchen. Yes. That's the kitchen from this other side. Um, African culture where people put bananas and eggs on the fridge. But at that point in time, we had no way to put those things because, I mean, the rest of the area is pretty much filled up. So that is it so uh, that's my small cooking area i couldn't put a big microwave because of space still yeah but i love the finishing of this house the finishing of this house is everything so guys just go down below and tell me if most houses are, are like this okay affordable houses <laughs> so yeah those are the tiles i think the kitchen um two people can't fit in the kitchen or three <laughs> okay it's not a kitchen to be crowded yeah of course when you're cooking you just need your bottle of, for cousins right there <laughs> So those cabins actually guys I just used that camera to hold properly my door that's the honest truth so guys if you're seeing anything here and you feel like it's out of place just please bear this is reality not Instagram <laughs> so let's move on 
I actually had nothing to cook at, the, at that time. I didn't stocked up. So that's my little curtain. I just decided to fold it up there. Those are the cabins, cabins for storage. And the good thing is that they are closed. Not everyone likes different people to see how they've organized their cabins. So they are closed. So pretty much that is the kitchen. And this, when you're the kitchen, this is the view you will see of the sitting room, the sitting area. So yeah, pretty much my lights are acting up. They always act up when I start recording a video. But anyway, that wants to pass. Let's go to the bathroom. You turn this other side left. Have a mirror there. Then you turn again left. And you'll see your area. Washrooms. Umoja. So everyone loves, not everyone, but I love these little parts because they take long to get spoiled. <laughs> So that is my little carpet. There where I place the slippers. Then that is the sink to brush and wash your hands. That is the little mirror. And of course that is just a simple towel to dry your hands. So in this house all you just need are simple things, you know. Simple things you use daily, you know. And that is the water heater for those who like showering hot water. And when you go down below, that is the showering area, the places where you can keep your sponges and soap. I think these people were pretty much considerate. They provided the tenant with everything they really need. Need, not want. So, yes, that is it. So that's the pant peg. I, that is what I use to clean the toilets and the place. It's just easy. You don't have to struggle so much while cleaning your bathroom. And the uh, movable showers. I think if you go down to my other videos of shown how to use that shower and it's pretty much simple and easy to use so guys that was it for my house just go down below and comment tell me what you think about the house anyway guys the good news is that we happened to shift we shifted to a new house and so guys, like I was saying, some people will be disappointed that I happened to put up this video um, after I have shifted, but guys, don't worry, I got you and I'm going to be showing you all the room, all the house tour of the new house. If time allows, I'll be showing you all that, the sitting room and the kitchen. So guys, like you can see, all you're going to see we happened to shift because after we got married, we happened to shift. But a little advice to everyone out there. So if you have a bed sitter house, I mean, it's the perfect house if you want to save, if you're just starting out. Because usually we come back late at night and all you have to do is just sleep. And most times I believe you don't have so many visitors. So a bed sitter house is good for someone who wants to save. And please don't be embarrassed about it. As long as you're comfortable, as long as it has a kitchen, a bathroom, it really saves a lot, a lot. It really saves a lot. And trust me, guys, I don't mind having a bed in a house if I'm about to hustle, if I'm going to hustle, if I'm going to hustle my, my way out. Because anyway, it's about saving. So guys, that was it for my video. If you liked it, just go down below and subscribe, like the video, share your opinions about the house. And guys, 
I'm about to bring you more interesting videos. Just stay tuned to the Missy Sharon family. Guys, let's keep growing. I love you guys so much for watching. And see you in my next video. Bye, guys.